हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल यू आर लर्निंग विद डॉक्टर शोभा निकम इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड नॉन आइडियल आई वी इफेक्ट इन सीमोस ट्रांजिस्टर्स यू ऑल आर अवेयर ऑफ सीमोस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आई हैव अपलोडेड अन अदर वीडियो रिलेटेड टू इट एंड लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो नॉन आइडियल आई वी इफेक्ट्स आर आइडियल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मॉसफेट एंड प्रैक्टिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मॉसफेट और आफ्टर सिमुलेशन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मॉसफेट आर डिफरेंट एंड वाई दे आर डिफरेंट सो दे आर डिफरेंट बिकॉज ऑफ दीज रीजन सो आई हैव शॉर्ट लिस्टेड दीज रीजन योर सो वेरी फर्स्ट इज बिकॉज ऑफ वेलॉसिटी सैचुरेशन एंड मोबिलिटी डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ चार्ज कैरियर सो इधर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और होल्स then because of channel length modulation variations in channel length of mosfet body effect body is four terminal of mosfet so because of that body effect variations in body voltage again characteristics of mosfet affects sub threshold conduction junction leakage tunneling temperature dependence geometry dependence so because of these reasons the ideal characteristics and practical characteristics are different in this video i have discussed three important things velocity saturation mobility degradation and channel length modulation so let's start with velocity saturation and mobility degradation so before you understand velocity saturation let's understand what velocity is or what drift velocity is so in general electrons in a conductor will propagate randomly at the fermi velocity resulting in average velocity of zero so drift velocity is it is an average velocity attained by charged particles due to an electric field when we don't apply any electric field average velocity is zero so to travel electrons in one direction in one direction we must apply some electric field and in case of mosfet there are four terminals so electrons travel from source terminal to drain terminal and current flows from drain terminal to source terminal so drift velocity is equals to mobility of electrons or holes multiplied by electric field so in mosfet electric field is divided into two types lateral electric field and vertical electric field so lateral electric field is along the channel whereas vertical electric field is perpendicular to the channel so this is a mosfet it has source terminal drain terminal gate terminal and fourth terminal is body or substrate terminal channel length is distance between drain terminal and source terminal so this is my channel length l so lateral electric field is applied over this channel so formula for lateral electric field is vds divided by l vds is voltage between drain and source divided by channel length whereas vertical field is voltage applied to gate terminal between gate and source terminal and this is our oxide layer sio2 layer so vertical electrical field is vgs the vertical voltage divided by this channel uh, uh, this uh, thickness of the oxide layer so drift velocity is average velocity or average speed this velocity is in centimeters per second so when we apply some electric field then electrons or holes travel in one direction and drift velocity is average velocity now let's understand what is the effect of this lateral or vertical electric field on the behavior of mosfet so the lateral electric field this lateral electric field influences the current flow along the channel whereas the vertical electric field affects the channel's conductivity so so at high lateral field when the applied electric field that is 
what is electric field it is vds divided by l ideally length of transistor is constant so when vds increases then at one particular value of vds velocity saturates it means speed of electrons remains constant so this formula is mu into e lateral lateral electric field divided by 1 plus e lateral divided by e saturation this e saturation is electric field at which velocity saturates and this saturation velocity is in electrons it is 6 to 10 into 10 raised to 6 centimeters per second whereas in case of holes it is 4 to 8 into 10 raised to 6 centimeters per second we know equation for current in case of mosfet equation for current is mu mobility into cox w by l width divided by length into vgs minus vt vgs is gate to source voltage and vt is threshold voltage square of that divided by 2 so this equation is without velocity saturation after velocity saturation the current equation becomes cox into w vgs minus vt into v saturation this is with velocity saturation so here in in this equation current quadratically dependent on voltage without velocity saturation whereas here you can see current linearly dependent when fully saturated and because of that the effect of lateral electric field is instead of quadratical dependence of current here it is linearly dependent so ideally vds this is voltage versus current characteristics so when vds increases in saturation region when vds increases these these are the ideal characteristics more current flows through the mosfet whereas practically less amount of current flows and that is because of the velocity of electrons get saturated and why it saturate it saturates because of lateral electric field and vertical electric field and what happens because of vertical electric field in vertical electric field carriers scatters because of scattering of those carriers they collide with each other and their mobility degrades and when mobility degrades automatically current decreases so here you can see e lateral lateral electric field and this is velocity saturation so when lateral electric field increases velocity saturation also increases to summarize this we can say when we apply high lateral electric field or high vertical electric field that is when vds increases then instead of quadratic change a quadratic dependence on current the current is linearly dependent on voltage and that is why less amount of current flows through mosfet now let's discuss about channel length modulation in saturation region ideally current must be constant but it is not constant it increases and it increases because of channel length modulation channel length modulation means the length of the channel changes with applied voltage so we apply voltage between gate and source and voltage between drain and source and ideally we assume that the body terminal or substrate terminal is shorted to source terminal so we apply voltage between drain and source positive voltage to drain and negative voltage to source and this body terminal is shorted to the source terminal see here substrate is positive our drain is negative we have applied positive voltage to negatively near charged drain and negative voltage to our p substrate or positive substrate it means this is our pn junction this is a pn junction positive and negative now this pn junction is reverse biased 
and because of reverse bias depletion region forms here when vds increases width of this depletion region also increases so when this width increases you can see the effective channel length is the original length minus width of this depletion region ld width of depletion region so channel length changes with change in vds so when vds increases channel length decreases this effective channel length decreases and hence the current increases with vds in saturation so current increases with increase in vds voltage between drain and source that equation we can write as ids is equals to beta into vgs minus vt square divided by 2 into to express this channel length modulation effect we have added this component 1 plus lambda into vds here don't confuse this lambda with uh, uh, the lambda rules used in layout this is empirical channel length modulation factor so you need to remember channel length modulation is because of reverse bias pn junction between drain terminal and substrate terminal the width of depletion region increases because of increased width effective channel length decreases and hence current increases in saturation region so it was all about non ideal uh, iv effects of mosfet thank you so much for watching keep watching